the deal which has allowed the breadbasket of Europe to export 33 million tonnes of grain in a time of war has de facto ended, says the Kremlin. Well, look, in fact, the Black Sea agreements have ceased to operate. Under a deal initially brokered by President Erdogan last July and renewed three times since, Russia agreed not to attack ships entering and exiting Ukraine's Black Sea ports on the condition they were carrying food. The deal secured 725,000 tonnes of supplies for the World Food Programme and helped keep food prices down worldwide. Unfortunately, the part concerning Russia, the Black Sea agreements, have not been implemented so far, so its effect is being terminated. As soon as the Russian part of the agreements are fulfilled, the Russian side will return to the implementation of this deal immediately. As the carrot for Russia to sign, the UN agreed to help lift obstacles to Russia's own food and fertilizer exports. Although these shipments are not subject to Western sanctions, Moscow claims exclusion from the SWIFT international payment system limits exports in all sectors. The country is nevertheless exporting record quantities of food. Russia has also criticised the implementation of the deal, saying that relatively little of the grain exported has reached developing countries. But ending the deal and reducing supply will likely increase prices, including for poorer countries. If Moscow follows through on its threat, developing countries, including in the region, will pay the price, uh, including quite literally with higher food prices as well as greater food scarcity. Moscow says it has no intention of abandoning Africa, though, and Putin said in March that Russia will take it upon itself to deliver food to countries in need, such as Sudan, Somalia and Ethiopia.